Okie doke. Let's see if I can hold a coherent thought. <laughs> that would be terrific. Um, behind me, you can see my portrait of Yolandi Fisher, drag queen Yolandi Fisher out of Providence, Rhode Island. Yolandi, Yolandi is no longer with us. Um, they passed away almost a, a year ago. In a couple of weeks, it'll be a year ago. And I had started this in July, or June rather, for Pride Month and eventually took it and put it to the side uh, because it was just going too, too typical, too traditional. And I needed to think about it. Well, now it's December. And so I pulled it back out. And as you can see, I'm adding uh, lines, adding texture to it. Uh, it doesn't look the way I want it to. I'm not worried about it because I've got a long way to go. But what I wanted to do was create more of a raw effect in the in the uh, portrait because Yolandi was just raw passion about social justice and about their drag art just everything just passionate about life Yolandi I've been reading a lot of tributes uh, from last year and again this year uh, to Yolandi where uh, people talked about their unflinching um, passion and how uh, they had a great a great way of pissing people off because Yolandi didn't settle ever. You had to be at the top of your game when you were performing. You, you, but Yolandi was very giving as well. If someone needed a wig or needed an outfit or needed to just like punch things up, Yolandi was right there and willing to help. So I miss my friend very, very much. Um, so I, but I'm going back in and working on it and bringing out that sheer raw energy. The cheekbones, the cheekbones are now all wrong with the lines set in and the lines are made of oil pastel. I just run them down. And people have asked me before if, um, if the oil pastel dries and, and it does, but it's just, it's more delicate. It does, it will, um, it will, kind of come off a little bit, but I enjoy that. I, I enjoy uh, aging and decrepitude and things not staying permanent and perfect. I really enjoy it. I like to see what the material will do. I've talked about how uh, light will hit uh, different different textures like flat dry gesso, um, how, how, how it'll affect, affect the flat dry, dry gesso, how light will go in and not bounce out. But then right next to it is aerosol where it'll bounce back out or oil and with the mediums mixed in and it will really bounce out. As you can see, it's starting to glow in that uh, very light teal. So I enjoy the different textures and the impermanence of it all. Um, I've talked about the corners of my canvases and how they're all chewed up by the time I get done. It's not on purpose. It's just that I'm very, um, a little clumsy, a little clumsy when I'm working. And some people would um, think it unprofessional and I, I just don't care. It, it's part of the material. It's showing the material for what it is, like the oil pastel. Now, this is kind of leading to uh, another subject I wanted to talk, talk about because I, uh, through Patreon, I, I'm, I've offered uh, mentorship. And I've been mentoring people for a long time. People all over the globe for a very long time. And I'm mentoring people now, as a matter of fact. I hear from, I'm sorry, I've got goop on my eye eyeglasses and I can't quite see. But I've got people... I'm mentoring now, um, you know, they're stuck. They don't, they just feel absolutely stuck where they are. They're sick of painting the stuff they've been painting or making the work they've been making. And they feel hemmed in and, and really stuck in a corner and not wanting to work anymore. And they don't know what, where to go or what to do. And one of the things I tell people when we're in this corner is, well, first of all, we have a conversation. We do this, we do a video chat so I can see them and hear them more clearly. 
and we talk about different things and different issues, not just about creating artwork, but a lot of different things. And then we kind of pull out, um, we just pull out different um, aspects of their lives that may also make them feel stuck. And so how do we take that and apply it to the work or refresh their view of the work so they're able to take that, um, I, don't know how to, how, I don't know how to describe it, but take that cap that's now on their, on their, on their create, creativity, one of, another one of my least favorite words, but the cap that's been placed on their creativity, how do we take it and turn it around and use all the element, other elements in their lives to refresh? The work and then hopefully to improve, improve other aspects of their lives. But one of the things, and here we are, one of the things I always recommend, and I've recommended it to several people lately, um, especially painters, mainly painters, is to getting a large piece of surface, like a piece of plywood or a piece of Luan, um, some piece of wood just from Lowe's or Home Depot you know, spend what, eight to 20 bucks, I think, and get a really large surface, gesso it, uh, gesso it, because you need that ground. If you don't have the ground on the wood surface, whatever you put on, whether it's aerosol or oil or acrylic, will soak into the wood. So gesso it, and then start applying other colors. But take it out of the space that you're used to working in don't put it on an easel if you're used to working on an easel. Put it on the floor, take it outside, and just start working. Don't have a preconceived notion of what you're doing or what you're going to do or the direction that you're going to go in because you don't want to get yourself hemmed back in. You don't want to keep um, repeating this pattern that has taken you and play and taken you and capped your ability to grow. This is something that I've done in my life, so I recommend it to other people, and I've done it more than once. When I've started to repeat things too many times, I'll take a surface or I'll take a painting like Yolandi, and what can I do to give it more depth and make it feel fresh? Refresh my head refresh the way I'm, I'm, I'm viewing painting again. Take it and, and just turn it on its head so I can just go back in and approach the other work. And I have a ton next to me over here. Reapproach work where I felt like, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting too predictable at this point. And even I'm getting bored. So I suggest a very large surface. The other thing I suggest, and I talk about this in my videos, is I usually have um, my iPods in, and I'll have a podcast going or something going, a talk show or something. So I'm listening to this, and that part of my head that says, you need to focus on this image, and you need to make this image perfect in some way, is, is kept busy. It's kept to the side and busy and distracted so that I can just go ahead and just do the work. I did that on a very large canvas uh, that ended up, I called it what? Um, uh, Drowning Lily, Drowning Lily. That was one painting where I did it. One, of, I think the first where I actually did that. And then another one was Energia, E N. E-R-G-I-A. It was a four foot by eight foot, uh, just kind of abstract, scrawling, raw painting. Um, it ended up being five faces, but I had taken a surface, gessoed it with the little gesso that I had, black and white gesso, and then applied, um, I didn't think, no, I wasn't using aerosol at the time, so acrylics, and then I started going over it with oil, oil pastel. I did apply some paper, I used some pencil, and I used some markers. And it wasn't, I'm going to do this thing. It was just, it was free flowing. 
And both of those paintings at different periods helped to open me up and then open me up a little bit more and open me up a little bit more like this again. This is kind of like stretching. You know, if you're used to running on a treadmill all the time, your muscles are gonna get tight and they're just gonna stay contracted. And then you're in pain. You need to stretch and loosen everything up. So that's one of, that's one of the things that I suggest and one of the things that I talk to people about when we're mentoring. I have other people where um, kind of helping them with their websites or, you know, just different aspects where they kind of feel a little bit stuck. And I'm, I'm not an authority, but I can tell you, this is what I have done. When, when I've done these things, I've had nobody to tell me how. How do well, the paint's peeling off my ceiling? That's interesting. Um, but I had, I had nobody to say, this is what I would do. I remember a few years ago, I had produced a huge body of, or a body of work and I wrote an artist I really liked and respected. And I said, what do I do with this now? What do I do now? And she never got back to me. She's, she makes a good amount of, she makes a pretty good amount of money. She's showing all over the place. She's, you know, reasonably well known in certain circles and she never got back to me. And I thought that was pretty horrible, but that's the way some people are. And I've written to other people and they haven't gotten back to me. So what I'm trying to do is provide little tricks that I have found have helped me when I've been stuck, when I haven't known what to do or where to go. Oh my God. The kids out, the kids are out in back of the school playing and there's some teacher yelling at them. I'm sorry if you can hear this, but I do live in back of an elementary school. Anyway, that's what I try and do is help people. You know, there's, I've talked about being in college and not really getting much help there. and you know, teachers telling me I'd never be anything. I, n I never want anyone to feel the way I've felt. <laughs> oh, the teacher's having a meltdown. Um, I never want anyone to feel the way I felt, like there is no one that you can ask. There is no one you can talk to. There is nowhere to get answers. There's always a way to get some help. If I don't know the answer, I will find someone in the art community who can give you the answer. One thing I really enjoy doing for people that I'm mentoring or people that write me is, especially if they're, they're just trying to find a way. We go over some of their artwork and also just artists that I know, that I appreciate, who are similar in style, but not exactly the same and try and give it give you a level or two or three or four above something you can reach for. And I'm watching one person who's gone from pretty basic to now using very complex color layers and uh, thinking about shading and other things that they didn't think about before. And so they've really progressed. And, and that makes me very proud that anyone would actually listen to me, number one. but to see that we can help one another. That makes me really proud. So anyway, I am offering mentorship through Patreon, Patreon uh, monthly support. I think it, oh, I've got them at different levels and I don't remember what they are, the different things that we can do, but I can help you. And I can actually put together a little bit of a program, program for you so we can just keep, help, help keep pulling you along. And it's not me being, you have to do this. It's like, this is what I suggest. And then we, we just see how we do. We just see how we go. Uh, change doesn't come overnight. You know, working on larger surfaces, once you get that completed, it's not the beginning and the end. It, it's just a stage that will take you to another stage. You'll get stuck again, but with those tools, uh, you know, find, finding your tools by doing the work by doing something larger, completely different, completely foreign to you, and in a different space, will help you to know what to do next time or give you an idea what to do next time. So just consider uh, supporting me through Patreon and signing up 
They're playing soccer. They're playing soccer right, uh, yeah, right in back of the house. <laughs> oh my God, they're so funny. Those poor kids. Stuck inside all day. They're outside screaming now. Anyway, sorry. Um, but that's one thing to think about is monthly support through Patreon. Uh, pay, uh, support starts at $5 a month, $10 a month, 15 goes up from there up to where you can, you know, your re reward is paying for, is buying a painting and it's a painting of your choice. So just something to consider, but either way, sometimes you just don't have $5 or you don't have $100 or whatever a month. Just let me know if there's some way I can help, please put it in the comments section or email me through my website, www.becklaneartist.com. Becklaneartist.com. Okay, just let me know. All right. I'm going to go make some tea and listen to the kids scream. All right. Ciao.